Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot, here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for Saturday, October 23rd, 2021. So without further ado, Scorpio, let's go ahead and dive into the reading, see what's going on with your specific person. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. I have, let's see where my piece of paper is at. Okay. I have the power of number one. Some of you guys are dealing with the Gemini. If the Magician card decides to kick in, you could also be dealing with a Capricorn and or an Aquarius throughout the month of January. Any of the Aces could kick in as well. Power of number 11. Yes, a lot of you Scorpios were born in the month of November. However, you could also be dealing with a Libra if the Justice card decides to make its presence known. And or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius born at the latter part of November. Okay. Oh my God. Power of number one again. We've got an 1111 Twin Flame Soulmate energetic connection going on. Yes, indeed we do. And what does that add up to? Power of number 13. Number 13, the way the numbers I have written out here. So we can see the sign of Scorpio kick in with the death card of change and transformation, being that phoenix rising up out of the ashes. And I do feel that new beginnings are on the horizon for you, Scorpio, not just in regards to your specific person, but for also all other areas of your life as well, because we have the power of number three. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries throughout the month of March. The Empress card she may decide to show up. So, <clears throat> power of number 13. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Trusted ancestors and my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. In regards to their specific person, the one that is consuming their thoughts right now, what does this person want to say to Scorpio, please? What's going on? Oh, baby, they got guilt, remorse, regret. Five of cups. Which tells me judgment card I'm seeing in my mind's eye. I wouldn't be surprised if the judgment card kicks into this reading. You could find out possibly the next five days from now, Scorpio, that this person is going to be coming forward to give you a rightfully owed apology for some of you. Could be within the next five minutes, five hours, five days. Could take up to five more months for some of you. Okay. So the five of cups <laughs> energy. This person does want to reconcile with you, but they're not sure if this is even possible, Scorpio. I keep hearing from Spirit, because this has come up before in some of my previous readings, Scorpio was right. Scorpio was right. Scorpio was right. Why are you right, Scorpio, about your person? If they were dealing with somebody and or a particular situation, why would you be right, Scorpio? Because we are the most intuitive sign in all of the Zodiac. It's very rare that our intuition is ever off. Let's find out why this person has guilt, remorse, regret towards you, Scorpio. What is the guilt, remorse, regret? What's going on? That they didn't level up, that they didn't choose you. Imagine that. Emperor energy coming in. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries and or a Taurus throughout the month of April. They could have also made an offer to a karmic person. And it feels like this karmic person rejected them. Ooh. 
fate and destiny and wheel of fortune, somebody learns some hard-ass karmic lessons and cycles. Wheel of fortune, Lady Fortuna energy doesn't look like it's being very kind to your specific person, Scorpio. But the wheel's getting ready to turn around for the better for you. Mm-hmm. I think they are in grief or sadness because of all the time wasted if they were with a third-party situation. I think they're in regret for taking you for granted. Message from the Emperor. Yeah, I said we could see the Magician card. They do want to manifest for a new beginning here, but they're not sure if this is possible with you, Scorpio. Message from the Wheel of Fortune. Ah, King of Cups, you could be dealing with another water sign. And of course, yes, Scorpio energy coming in. Fate and destiny is at play for you right now, Scorpio, in regards to your specific person. This person had went through a lot of conflict, and you might have went through a lot of conflict with this person. There could have been arguments, tit for tat, all of that bullcrap energy. Or this person is suffering, possibly in silence for some of them. That they created drama. And for putting you in a third-party situation for all the lies and deception, or they could be in guilt, remorse, regret, because whoever they were dealing with might have cheated on them, played them. Oh, what goes around comes around, baby. What goes around comes around. Message from the magician. Oh, wow. The Five of Swords just wants to kick in. Mm. Why is this here? Trust of the ancestors. Why this person's in guilt, remorse, regret towards Scorpio. Yeah, because they put you in a third party, Queen of Swords. Could have been with a karmic ex, past lover, somebody they could have been married to. Mm. No, they're in, they're in a lot of conflict. They're in a lot of conflict with the karmic. Mm -hmm. If they are indeed dealing with a third party, a specific person on their end. Message from the Queen of Swords. Yeah, because there's an ending. Sign of Scorpio kicking in. Power of number 13. What we shuffled the deck to off, based off of the power of the numbers. 11, 1. 1, 11, 1. Excuse me. 1, 11, 1 is how it came up on the roll of the dice. Brought us to the number 13. There is an ending with this karmic, but they're manifesting at the same time for a new beginning because they want to be with you, Scorpio. Because that two of cups is behind this person. They're crying over spilled milk for the things that did not come into fruition. Well, the reason why shit didn't come into fruition for them, they thought it did. They could have seen some little serendipity type of moments that were happening for them. But did it really last? No, it didn't. And is it going to last? No, it's not. Message from the King of Cups, please. Yeah. King of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be thinking about a water sign and or possibly an earth sign. This person got some karma. Some of you guys could be in a same-sex relationship. Male and male or female and female. Mm-hmm. Could be that somebody got caught cheating Probably got caught in bed with another lover for some of them. Message from the sign of Scorpio. Yeah. An ending came to their, what they thought the grass was greener and their little over the rainbow moment came to an end. Or it's happening, this ending is happening in the here and the now. Could have happened 10 days ago, could happen 10 days from now, 10 hours from now, 10 minutes from now. 
Mm. Wow. I'm just meditating. I'm looking at these two kings. What's going on between the two kings, trusted ancestors? What's going on between these two kings? What's up with this? Yeah, third party situation. They got their karma. They could have gotten caught with a third party. Show me this three of cups third party here. What the hell's going on? Mm -hmm. Six of pentacles, equal give and take, equal reciprocity, not being one-sided. That's one thing. However, giving time and energy to numerous different people, places, things, and situations, and they breadcrumbed you. Somebody got their karma. You know what? Good. Good. Because a lot of us Scorpios, guess what? We've already paid. Let's just put it this way. We've already paid for a lot of karma in our life. We've paid for karma in regards to family members. We've paid for karma in regards to not paying off debt. We've paid our karma uh, basically in our romantic life. We've paid our debt, Scorpio. Now this person is getting a taste of it. Now they're getting a taste of what it feels like. Good. Because this person thought that they could get away in the past. They thought that they could get away with their deception towards you by keeping you as a third party. I feel like the spirits were hitting up this person's money, their house, their valuables, their possessions. And you know... They gave them a shitty-ass relationship with the karmic. Because they walked away from one of the best things. But see, now they're wanting to come back around the bend again. They're wanting to turn the tables now. They're wanting to turn the situation around with you, Scorpio. Because even the Three of Cups can represent going out on a date. Them asking you out. Showing that they want the situation to be balanced between the two of you. Message from the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles bringing in the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. This person is receiving karma on family dynamics because some of them wanted to listen to family members when they should have been listening to their higher guidance in regards to you. And on the other flip side of the coin, they want to bring in this you know, foundation structure stability. They don't know how. Some of them are, are, are strategically planning. Some of them have a mental plan of action already. And some of them are kind of like, I feel like they're kind of in between that energy. They could be feeling a little overwhelmed because it's like I'm seeing the seven of cups in my mind's eye. Show me this guilt, remorse, regret from Scorpio's person unto them. What is this all about? Yeah. Yeah. Justice. I did say we could see the justice card kick in. They have no choice but to bring you in nothing but the truth. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. If they don't, they're going to keep getting their karma. And shit is just going to keep hitting the fan. Nothing can break down the walls of justice. They know that they have to come forward and tell you the truth. Some of them may come forward and tell you the truth that they got married behind the scenes, but 
it didn't exactly work out. They're going to get their karma because there's going to be an ending. There's an X here. They could have also gotten rejected. Show me how justice is coming into play, trusted ancestors. It's coming in because they want to reconcile with you. Two of Cups. What did I say? This person does want to reconcile with you because the Two of Cups is right behind this person. There's justice, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and the Two of Cups. Two of Cups. It's right there. Power of the numbers, you guys. Listen, this person, they're strategizing. They don't know if you're going to accept them back. There, I'm, I'm telling you, this energy was coming up either in yesterday's reading or the day before. They have a fear that you are going to reject them. I feel like this person is going to do everything in their power to convince you that they are worthy. Mm -hmm. After all of the drama, show me how the Two of Cups is coming into play from this person onto Scorpio. Okay, they're going to start off small communication, Prince of Pentacles. They want to give you a token, a gift, a love offer, a gesture, a phone call, a text message, a DM. It's one or the other. Show me this communication. Well, there's the Emperor and here's the Empress. You are the be-all, end-all. You are the person that they want to be with. You have spiritually grown, Scorpio. The reason why you guys are sitting on your emperor and or your empress throne is because you have paid your karmic debt. And you're becoming more spiritually awakened, spiritually enlightened. And this is the reason why the good Lord and the universe and the goddess energy is going to bless you abundantly. You have paid your karmic debt, and this person cannot deny your beauty or your handsomeness or your elegant ways. You're a class act. You know, when this energy comes up, you're a class act, Scorpio. And what they've been dealing with, it's like a truck stop whore. That's what they've been dealing with, a truck stop whore. And some of these karmic girlfriends that they deal with, they're kind of like, kind of rough around the edges. They may look feminine, but their whole character, their attitude, their demeanor, it's like, man, I mean, it's, I, I understand we, we hold and possess masculine and feminine energies, but these quote unquote truck stop whores that exude off of the energy of this karmic, they're just, there's, it's like their masculine energy takes over more than the feminine. You know, take, take the example. If we can, as women, as us Scorpio women, this is just an example. Look at the character of Wonder Woman. Okay, my favorite character besides Dorothy Gale and the Wizard of Oz. Look at Goddess Diana, Prince, Diana Prince's character of Wonder Woman. She knows how to balance. That character's energy is a perfect harmony and balance of masculine and feminine energy. There's beauty. There's charm. There's gracefulness. It's a Wonder Woman's a class act. And yet this fierceness, this bravery, this boldness, that's even attractive. But it's coming in more from a feminine strength energy it's not coming in from so much dominating masculine there's a balance there's a balance energy and this karmic does not have that balance between masculine and feminine they may try to act tough but it comes off like 
like I said, truck stop whore. Okay? It, it's just, you are, in this person's eyes, Scorpio, top notch. Class act. This person can only see themselves with you now, Scorpio. So, mm -hmm. Hmm. let's get a message from the Empress. This new beginning, yeah, they're going to race and charge in. They're not going to hold back anymore, Scorpio. Princess of Swords, I look at this as a Knight of Swords. See, this Princess of Swords... This could almost be like Goddess Diana Energy or Diana Prince or Wonder Woman because see how Wonder like Wonder Woman holds the sword, but there's still this feminine energy, but this bravery. It's like enticing for this person. You mesmerize them, Scorpio. Male or female doesn't matter. You mesmerize this person with your strength and your courage and your bravery and you know, your goals, your dreams. And this person wants to cut out the BS and ch come racing and charging ahead towards you. Yes, Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck. It is the truth. You are sitting on solid ground, Scorpio, whether you believe it or not. You're going to glow up. There, you've got prosperity, health, wealth, abundance. And if you are taking full responsibility for your actions, Scorpio, that's the reason why. You're going to always be up on your throne. And this person is going to feel this energy. It's going to resonate. They're going to feel this energetic pull. Wondering like, well, what the hell is Scorpio up to? What is he or she doing? It's like they're doing something different and it's attracting them. Take care of yourself. Take care of number one, Scorpio. And it's not just your specific person that's going to feel this energetic vibe or connection off of you or be drawn unto you. It's going to be other people. They're going to wonder how you got your wealth or your health or your prosperity or why you're looking so good. Okay? If you need to go get a new hairdo, Scorpio, get a new hairdo. You need to change your clothes up a little bit of your wardrobe, change it up. You need to work on those projects, those dreams that you put on the back burner, bring it to the forefront. Do something different because once you start shifting your vibrational frequency and you start doing something different, eating right, working out, you're working on, you know, a lot of you guys are writers, actors, singers, you have, you know, musical talents and abilities, um, you're great at sales, Scorpio. A lot of you are contemplating, um, you know, working in the spiritual field. You know, doing more metaphysically inclined things, maybe becoming a tarot reader yourself. It could be anything. It could be anything. But you're going to be gaining popularity and, and you're, you're going to be respected not only among your peers a little bit at a time, but from your specific person. Because you're focusing in on yourself. And this person has so much guilt, remorse, regret. Because they're going to think that you're moving on without them. And they want to be a part of all of this new energy. That is coming and headed in your direction. Why? Because you have paid for your karmic debt. Now it's your turn to shine, Scorpio. And this person is going to pick up on this. And they're going to think you are the shizzle. Okay? And they are paying a lot of karmic debts right now because there was an ending. There was an ending to a karmic situation. Or it's happening right here, right now. Or soon. So, Scorpio Cross Watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, Scorpio, take care.